What's going on everyone? So back again with the redesigning an app from scratch challenge and here is the full version I'm going to showcase you in this video of the app I redesigned which was Whole Foods and I'm going to showcase the prototype in just a second but in case it's your first time viewing the video basically I picked an app from the app store took reviews from the actual users and I picked an app specifically that had quite a lot of reviews and feedback that I could act upon and if you haven't seen the first video I discussed more details about this um, in the video so I'll put a link to the that video and also the first app redesign if you want to see that for PF Chains I'll put that in the description down below too you can watch that but really quick just to uh, summarize what the goal was for this was basically to add a new search option because they did not have that so here essentially no search option can't search for items to the shopping list and also you can't search for actual items when you're on the shopping list too so let me showcase first the original app design in case you guys have not seen it or you're just unable to download the application all right so here is the original app design right here so i got five screens showcasing it and basically it's super basic super simple the main goal i think was simply to have people get amazon prime or utilize their prime membership so that they can get the discounts but apparently they had issues with that based off of the reviews but once you log into the application it's either gonna ask you to sign in which i already did this so this is assuming you have an um, account with amazon and the the home section or not the one the farthest to the left the icon is a prime code so you can see the screen right here then the next section you have is the savings so this uh, uh this screen looks a little better but again it's it's like it's just like an ad basically showing like what's on sale but you can't do much you can add it to your shopping list but that's basically it and then the shopping list which was pretty i'd say poorly thought of as far as ux because you literally it's like having a notepad on an application and from the reviews a lot of people were annoyed with this at least the shopping list ad or the page because it was so basic and it's, there's no difference between having like your own notepad and just typing it in yourself versus just using this because uh what happens if you hit add an item you have to type it in and it just it just goes to whatever you type so i can literally type a bunch of random letters and it'll save as my thing which i guess for ease and simplistic sake i'm sure that's good but if like you're looking for a specific item that's only sold at whole foods then then you're pretty much you can't do anything about that which is not necessarily the best i'd say especially for a company that has amazon under their name and then the account is just the typical account nothing fancy on here but super basic and simple here so now you can see the the initial screens and you can see how basic it is and also if you go to the app store you can see the reviews they're not too great at least at the time of this video unless they do an update in the future then obviously the ratings might change but as i'm filming this that's currently what it's like and I looked at Target. Target, if you're not familiar with that in the States, I'm not too sure how many stores are international or if they're not even international, but Target has an incredible application when it comes to the design. And you can search for pretty much anything. And they have additional tasks, but I didn't really implement that in my design because it was just a little different. But I implemented stuff with Target. And then there's another app called Instacart, which is like a, it's basically delivery with um, showcasing a lot of stuff grocery stores food as well i have to look more into like the exact business model instacart but instacart's design is incredible so with that being said i started to do like a labeling the actual colors this time before i started designing and what i found what that was interesting to me was that i don't know their design system process or what the uh, people who made these this app was was thinking or if there's like alternative colors that i just can't tell or my screen's just off but the actual color for for whole foods is this color right here so if i got two different uh colors and yeah there's slight variations but for the most part like this is the green for the logo right but then if you go to the actual uh let me see here um let me exit off of this we can fan see this if you go to the actual app you'll notice that it's like a tinted bluish green which ends up being the color down here so this is the actual whole foods color and then this is the color down here which I, i'm not too sure what the reasoning is i'm sure if the developers or the designers at whole foods were explained then obviously then that could be like i don't know but uh to my knowledge the actual like 
Whole Foods color color green, I couldn't see it at least uh, as standing on here on this app right there. But that was just odd to me. I did cover some of the other stuff like the background. It's this gray. It's like up here. You can see. So I saved that. It's very like a slight white, but it's pretty much that. And then additional colors here. And for the most part, I mean, they're, they're white and gray and like greenish blue. So now seeing that, let's go into my actual prototype. And let me showcase the uh, actual working prototype first. And then I'll go into like this little screen, my screen how I did it afterwards. So let's go into the prototype now. All right, so here we are on the home page. So here the difference is from the original app already. You can see I have the home page now. I have a savings tab, prime code in the middle, the list, shopping list, same spot, and then account here. So first off the bat, we can scroll down. We can see featured products, popular products, and then if you want to change the current store you're looking at, you would do it here. And note that um, this is just my current prototype. Obviously, if I want to make like increases to sizes on fonts, additional changes, I'll do that in the future. But for now, this is what I'm just going to showcase. Essentially, you can think of this like MVP, like the first edition that I have right here. So cool little feature right here. I can scroll on these uh, right here. So I can scroll here too. So you can see like the products right there. And then if I were to click on this one right here, it bring a little pop up or overlay showcasing what the product's about, the price, if it's in stock or not, which I did see from some reviews that they like couldn't tell if an item was in stock or not. It would waste their time if they went to the store just to find out, you know, they don't have it. And especially Whole Foods has some pretty uh, specific items that you can't buy in anywhere else. So that's something I added right here. And then it's just like a description right there. But um, I can click off of it here or I can click the X, same concept. And then here we can hit the plus sign and then that would add it to the list. So if I were to view the list, go right here, you'd see that we have this added here. Go and delete that, then boom, it just restarts like that. And I hit the back button here. And then check this out. I found a new little method, a way for showcasing the prototype design and it makes it look a lot cooler. So watch what happens when I click the search option up here. Boom, cool little animation effects, just type stuff in. There we go, type ramen, boom, now we have ramen choices here. Same thing goes, I click on the ramen, shows the pricing, title, everything, and then in stock, click off of it, add to the list, view the list right here, boom, wanna check it, check it off, go back, and we're back to the uh, home page here. And then this little thing, barcode, Target has a very, I think um, theirs is like located at the top up here but in short that explanation is essentially if like you're in the store you don't know what it was that you uh you like typed in or forgot what you were buying you can scan the barcode and then i hypothetically it would save to your list on the phone and then also we got the savings tab here so if you were to look at the original this was the only screen that i kind of liked on the current app i didn't have too much details but basically you can change the store here Kept the same here, just like a little logo here. And then I changed like the coloring here. I saw on their website that they have like two types of colors for Prime members to see if they save. And then also if, um, it has like a yellowish color that is, I think it's like saves 10% or something like that. I have to double check the exact numbers. But in short, apparently they already have like a coding color. But I just stole like this sort of style from Instacart. Instacart has more of like a pinkish look, but I think it just stands out, makes it look more brighter. Obviously the color can change, but for the sake of it, these are on sale. And if I wanna add it to it, I hit the plus sign here, click on it, and then you can see savings in the big giant red block right there. And the actual price that you would pay would be the 945. And then prime code uh, would be in the middle here. Nothing too fancy, it's pretty much the same concept except it's bigger and uh, the original one is like tilted. I think that's like a 45 degree or whatnot. But basically it's tilted. I don't know if Amazon has like a specific way to read it, but ideally I could tilt mine the same way, but for the sake of it, I just kept it simple and a little bigger too, because some people are saying like the scanning thing doesn't even work and it's a lot difficult to um, get it. You might as well just say your phone number instead, apparently they said, but um, again, I'd have to go in and shop with the app to see that, but I currently don't use it for that. So can't comment too much on the use of um, usability of the one that they currently have. But here for the list, a little different, a little simple, but uh, basically same concept. I can tap here or I can hit the search. So let me just say tap, boom, loads up, type something in, click on water, boom. Check the water, pops up, overlay, shows the price, it's in stock. Add to my list, view the list, boom, here we go. And then I go to store, check it off, and there you go. And that's basically the same concept there. So. Check it out there. Also, I can hit up search here. And then also if I want to like close this menu out, you got the point there. And then account is just, 
it's just an account sign in or create an account here and then when you actually go on the app and you click sign in it shows like the amazon homepage. so i didn't integrate that by just this ideally just would be the account section here so looking right off the bat uh the design for this application and looking at the reviews the main biggest thing i saw was there's no search option and that people can't search for items to add to the shopping list so if i go to my process right here for my prototype the one problem the main thing i was trying to solve is the search lack of search which i have implemented right here and then also the ability to search for food items on the actual shopping list that were specific to you know whole foods these again these are hypothetical brands i'm not too sure if they're um fitting with it but i just got these from amazon but assuming that these were all at whole foods you go ahead click on add uh, up here boom and now you have essentially the proper product that you are looking for to add to your shopping list and this is obviously a hypothetical prototype version but again in the real version if they were to create it you would have like it uh, connected with the back end and like all the uh, barcodes and whatnot but i'm not developing it so i'm not too sure but overall you guys get the point this is pretty much my design here and then let me go through really quick the screens and if you don't want me to make a tutorial on how i did the uh like this part right here where i can just click off of it and then just like exit off too this is essentially an overlay of the prototype to where you don't have to make the full screen you can just make like a little piece like this and then when you prototype it you can make it pop up like that which i can make in another video i don't want to do right here but if you didn't want to see that just comment down below let me know and also in short here's the prototype right now my screens how i did it nothing too fancy it's pretty simple again i did it here again with the overlay here and these are again all the um pictures and images and you can see here it's nothing too fancy nothing too difficult if you understand how to make uh simple mobile applications then you definitely know how to do this and then i'm I'm, I'm gonna work on the style guide right here and i'll implement more of the colors I, this is actually a component so you can see this is uh the master ones if i were to change stuff here then obviously this would change on these but overall this is my prototype redesign for the whole foods application so if you did enjoy this video go down below give me a thumbs up subscribe if you have not already follow me along this journey of learning ux ui design and also any websites applications anything you want me to redesign or do for the next video series or challenge comment that down below definitely would love to see some ideas for that but aside from that if you found this video helpful definitely let me know share this video with your friends and i'll see you in the next one peace